political analyst and sociologist at the University of Ljubljana joins me now from Slovenia's capital. Welcome to uh, this news hour. Uh, just take us through the factors that led to the Prime Minister uh, losing this vote, uh, considering that he has been in power for quite a long time. Um, he was in power now for the last two years. Uh, his previous terms were uh, years before, so there was not a continuous uh, three-term uh, government. Uh, but in these last two years, there were many, many excesses. Uh, there was uh, hysterical management of the COVID-19 uh, uh, COVID disease uh, and the pandemic. Uh, there was uh, uh, an attempt to build an authoritarian government, which was uh, the main issue on this election. And uh, finally, the turnout was very high, around 70 percent, and people really decisively said no to this sort of government. So potentially saying no to this autocracy that they believe was happening and more to democratic means. Um, what, are some of the, what are some of the immediate changes that we can expect from the new government, especially when it comes uh, to green energy and uh, the move towards cleaner energy resources? Well, this is the issue all around the world, especially in Europe, which has been so far very dependent on the Russian gas. Uh, there is also um, the problem with coal and uh, uh, you know climate change. But uh, the main issue is with um, domestic politics, with uh, the systematic use of hate speech. And the new government uh, has promised to the people that it will change the public rhetoric and it will it, it will uh, give certain restrictions uh, against this sort of policy and public communication using fake news, uh, hate speech, offenses, etc. And what do we know about uh, the, the man who has won, uh, Robert Golub? Is he fairly new to politics in the country? He was in politics 10 years ago, and then he later turned back to business. Uh, he's a very successful manager. Uh, he built up uh, a very successful and strong uh, energetic company. Uh, so people believe that he's the right person to, to uh, lead complex processes in society that are needed uh, to make break with uh, the heritage of the present government. Gorad Kovacic, uh, thank you so much for that analysis.